it's time to see how we can control the resources over the processes we have in our system. Ubuntu has adopted uh, System D, a way of controlling and creating services, and it uses uh, C groups for this. So we can go to directory sys, then fs, and then into C group. It's interesting that inside of this uh, directory, all the files are created dynamically. This means that uh, the moment we are starting service, certain settings are created here and afterwards they'll uh, disappear. We see here uh, different uh, directories. Uh, this is the CPU, the memory and the I.O. controlling the block devices. So these are the main controllers. If we go uh, to, for example, CPU, and see what's inside. We see that we have system slice and user slice and also a lot of settings which we can control by typing information inside of those files. The system uses uh, slices in order uh, to separate and control common resources, which means that uh, for the user tasks, we are using user slice. For system tasks, such as running services, we are using system slice and uh, we're using machine slice for virtual uh, resources, such as running virtual machines. We can also see the current slices we have, which are managed by systemd. So we can just type systemd, see gtop, and we see the user slices and the system slices here. How many tasks are running into those services, which belong to the system slice? how much CPU they occupy, as well as the memory. If we go to user slice, here we see uh, common properties which can control the CPU of uh, all the users. And uh, we can get more granular if we go to user 1000 slice. And this is our user ID, which we can obtain from ETC uh, password. Uh, so here, uh, we can easily see that uh, on this uh, computer we have uh, this uh, user ID of 1000. Okay, so if we go to user 1000 slice, we see the same parameters as the previous directory. Uh, actually, we can modify those parameters to see them in action. For example, we would like to see what's inside of the quota of the CPU. And we can type cat CPU CFS uh, quota. US and we see this uh, number here basically we can use 100% uh, of our CPU uh, how we can change uh, this quota for this we'll use uh, the system control utility so you will type uh, system control set property and then for the slice we would like to target which is user 1000 uh, slice and now we'll set up uh, CPU quota and it will be on let's say 50% okay now we type our password and this will set the quota for this user to have hard limit of 50% uh, so the moment we are running a program which uses 100% of our CPU it will be limited uh, to 50% let's see this in action uh, so we'll use uh, the stress uh, command. If you haven't installed it, you can type sudo apt install uh, stress. I have it here in the system, so we'll type stress and we would like to load up uh, three CPUs. So we'll pass uh, three and this will start running the stress command. Let's open another terminal and here just uh, type the top command and now we'll click on the bottom one and we see that we don't receive more than 50% usage of our uh, CPU. So that's how we limit the usage of the CPU. Here is the stress command uh, running. If we go back, stop the program and return to system control by providing 101% uh, effectively enabling unlimited uh, quota. If we now run the stress and we go back to the top. We'll see that the stress utility grab as much as possible 
uh, from the CPU or it's filling it up to 100%. All right, we can also set not only a hard limit of 50% of the maximum uh, CPU usage. Out of those 50%, a single program cannot uh, have, for example, more than 25%. Uh, so we can modify this by providing the parameter CPU shares. And the maximum is 1024. So if we want to use only 25%, we'll type here 256. All right. If we now run a stress test and go to the top command, and we can see that the stress test is not taking more than 10%, uh, which is 25% uh, out of uh, 50. Okay, we saw how to modify the quota for the CPU controller uh, for a specific user. If we had uh, modified just the user slice, so instead of uh, writing set property user 1000, just uh, to remove this uh, user ID, this could affect all the users we have in our uh, system. We can run a program directly by setting those parameters for this, we can use systemd run, and now we'll pass the parameters, for example, the CPU quota, let's say 25%. And again, we'll run the stress program, or minus CPU is the same, and three, okay. We see that this is running our stress program as a service, and it actually occupies the same amount of the CPU as before. Uh, now, we can type a system control stop run u to service and this should stop the temporary created service uh, so our processor should be uh, free okay the other way was just to kill the stress uh, process